Next, we want to create a bar chart symbol to get an overview of the current production rate of all our wells. We will also configure this symbol for easy asset switching of the display. We will continue to work on the display we have created previously. Select the bar chart symbol and drag the attribute production rate onto the empty right side of the display. You will get a bar chart displaying one bar for the currently selected well. To include all other wells, right click on the symbol and select Add Dynamic Search Criteria. Delete the current search route and leave the field blank to search from the root level down. Tick Return All Descendants. By default, the maximum number of results returned is limited. To see all wells, increase the number of results to 100. Since there are so many bars, there is no space for labeling and we only know by hovering over the individual bars which assets they belong to. To get a more condensed chart showing only what is important, we will modify the search criteria to only show badly performing assets. We will define this here as assets having a current production rate of less than 600. By resizing the symbol, we might be able to see asset names, but the space on the display might still be too tight to display everything. We will go into further configuration to fix this in the next steps. Right click the symbol and select Format Bar Chart. First, we will change the orientation to better use the space on the display. Select Horizontal Orientation and switch the grid style to Bands. Again, you might need to adapt the size of the symbol to see the labels. Now, I managed to fit the labels in completely. But in fact there is a lot of information I would not need here. In the Visibility section, we can deselect value. We want to keep the label, but we can make it simpler. In the style section, we can select what is shown as bar label. Select assets since the well name will be sufficient. To still keep the information which attribute is being displayed, we can add a title. Since we have limited the maximum of the production rate being displayed, it makes sense to adapt the scale range accordingly. Open up the scale range section and choose custom limits. Set 600 as the right limit. For a better visual distinction between the performance levels, we can add multi-state functionality to the symbol. Right click the symbol and select add multi-state or bands. You can change the limits and colors, for example as I show here. As a last configuration step, we want to use the bar chart for swapping assets on the display. Right click on the symbol and select Add Navigation Link. Select Change Context of Current Display and use Current Asset as Root. Save the display. Exit the design mode to test the functionality. When you click on one of the bars, the trends in the status message value symbol will change the context to the asset selected.